Hello, today I'm going to show you how to add items to your inventory through Cash Footprint. There are four different ways to do it. First being on the fly. You're in the middle of a sale and you scan an item that is not in your inventory, you will be asked to add that item. Uh, or otherwise you can hit no and retype in the, the SKU or rescan the item. So I'm going to add an item on the fly. There we are. Would you like to add this item? Yes. I'm going to give it a description. You can also give it any other information you want. You can set the price. You can set the reorder points, number of items on hand, uh, attributes, ordering information, all that good stuff. So I'm going to save this item and it will add it to my list. That's adding an item on the fly. The next way to add items to your inventory is through the manual method. Just go into inventory, click the add button, scan or type in your SKU number, give it a description, price and any other information you want. Hit save and you can continue to do that for as many items as you need. So the next method for adding in items to your inventory is through the receivings screen. So you get a bunch of items off the truck uh, and you want to enter all those items into your inventory. Again, here you can do it on the fly if the item doesn't exist. If the item does exist, it will bring up the description, ask you how many you're receiving. In this case, we'll say 10. I want to update the cost for these that I'm receiving to 250 and I don't have any vendors in here right now, but if I wanted to, I could assign that. I add that to my receivings list, do that for as many items as you have in your bulk receiving, and hit process. You can run a report at the end to show you what you have received. I'm going to choose no because I don't want to run a report. After that, you just hit close, and you have received your inventory. If you go into inventory, you will be able to take a look and see that your on-hand number has changed and your average cost is has been adjusted. The final way to import items into your inventory is through importing a Excel spreadsheet, open office spreadsheet, flat file, and I'm going to go ahead and import a specific spreadsheet here. The first row of my data has column headers, so I'm going to make sure I check that option and hit refresh so I get a good snapshot of, of what my file looks like. I'm going to click next and here's where you will map all of the properties for the cash footprint inventory to each column of your spreadsheet. Right now I'm just going to do the item number and description because that's all that is required. If you want to add a price or quantity on hand from your spreadsheet you can map those columns as well and hit finish and it will go ahead and import that into inventory hit OK and now we're going to go to inventory and take a look and here are all the items that I just imported that's the easiest and fastest way especially if you have you know a vendor list or something like that that has all your pricing easy to Im import all that information that way when you go to the point of sale screen your items pop right up. So if you have any other questions, you can call 855-LOTHILL or email product.support at lothill.com. Thanks again.